everybody. I wanted to share with you just a little quick and easy craft that could be a little thank you gift for someone you know in your life. Um, it could be great to add to a gift basket or it could be something great you could give to co-workers at work. And what it is, it's decorated clothespins. Now I know some of you that are crafters have seen these a dime a dozen. The reason why I want to share it with you today is because I do mine just a little different. Um, I actually take my uh, clothespins and I soak them in food coloring water overnight and so I take five to ten drops of coloring and put it in a bowl of water and then uh, let them soak overnight and then the next day so it is about a, a, a uh, a, a good day and a half process to, to get them done, but it just takes that bare wood look off of it, and that way, whatever I use to embellish it, whether I, you know, freehand paint it, use washi tape or scrapbook paper, or whatever I want to embellish it with, it just kind of coordinates it and just, you know, gives it just a little different look. Um, I, I, I brought some cardstock down here because that's going to be part of how I uh, package it up. Um, I did buy this decorative tape at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how sticky it is. I don't know if it's as sticky as washi tape, but we're going to see how that works. If not, I'll go pull some uh, similar, I like that uh, kind of paisley look. It's just a real girly girl look. And so I want them to look really girly girl clips. And uh, so we'll see how that works. If not, I'll just pull some scrapbook paper. Um, got some embellishments, some little rhinestones, ribbon roses, some buttons. You know, whatever you have just to cover up that little clip part is where I like to put my embellishment. You know, you wouldn't want to put them on the top because that's where you're actually going to squeeze the clothespin. And so I got a bag and some ribbon and just want to show you how I'm going to package it up. So uh, let me go ahead and get the tape open and we'll see how sticky it is. Okay, I just want to show you this little part. Um, uh, this is where I'm wanting to put the decorative tape and it fits just perfectly if you, if you set it just right. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of burnishing it with my fingernail on the sides and, and I'm cutting it off. I'm not overlapping it right there. And so... Um, but if you are afraid that it's not going to adhere well, you could always brush a little Elmer's glue under it just for some extra adhesion. But I believe it's going to uh, adhere pretty well. So just wanted to show you how I'm burnishing it with my fingernail on the sides and the top. Okay, here's the finished product. Um, I just wanted to give you a kind of an up-close look to it. Um, they, I think they turned out adorable. Just want to show you how I clip them. I just take a rectangle piece of of cardstock and I use this burlap color because I feel like that if you use a solid color in the background it really shows off um, the the whatever fabric or washi tape you know if you use some kind of printed cardstock in the back it would you, your clothespins would just get lost so I think it really accents whatever embellishment you've done so anyway just a rectangle clipped them on there like that and so now I'm going to show you how I package them up now, you do need a, a baggie. Now, don't use the Ziploc kind because it's not really long enough. So, what I use is these little cheapy fold-over sandwich bags, and I cut the little flap loose, and that way that gives me another inch for me to gather it up at the top. So, let me go ahead and put it in and put the ribbons on there and show you how I would give it. Okay, here is the finished product all packaged up for a teacher or co-worker or anybody you'd like to give just a little thinking of you gift. Um, I've got it uh, in the little baggie with some coordinating ribbon. These little paper tags, I can you can get at the Walmart uh, office supply. You get like 100 for $1.88. They'll last you a really long time. But there's the back of it. So anyway, this is just adorable. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.